Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. Here's a look at some of the stories making news today. Broward County Schools confirming now a sixth case of measles at Manatee Bay Elementary School in Weston. The school has remained open, though, since that first confirmed case last Friday. Yesterday, nearly 20% of the schools, more than 1,000 students, though, were absent. The superintendent was on campus reassuring the children, the teachers, and parents about the enhanced daily cleaning procedures. Now the Florida Department of Health is recommending people without a prior history of infection or vaccination to stay home for up to three weeks. It's unclear if the school will close if cases continue to rise. And now to a crime that happened on camera. Pembroke Pines police needing your help to track down a man behind an armed robbery that happened at a convenience store. That incident happened on January the 20th. You can look at this video and see the surveillance showing the man at a 7-Eleven store on Pines Boulevard. As he comes up to the checkout counter, he pulls out a gun. He's wearing disposable gloves. He then provides a bag to the clerk to put the money in. Police say the suspect did get away with less than $100. And thankfully, no one was hurt, but Pembroke Pines police posting the video on their Twitter account asking for the public's help to identify this guy. There's a closer look at your screen. If you recognize him, call Broward County Crime Stoppers. That number, 954-493-TIPS. And now to a migrant landing that happened on Bee Biscayne right near the Rickenbacker Causeway. Sky 10 over that scene today. Five migrants spotted on a makeshift boat. Two of them were on the beach when police arrived. The other three swam back into the ocean, possibly getting on that boat. As breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. You can head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates all day long.